Hey everybody, it's Cheryl Lawson, party aficionado and head elf over at Social Media Tulsa. People aren't going to get that whole elf thing, but anyway, that's me. <laughs> I'm here with Tulsi Award winning Judy Grove of Breast Impressions, Inc. Hello, Judy. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you uh, out here in sunny California for a little while, but definitely missing Tulsa. Uh, we'll look at... Uh, the gas price is here, four fifteen, four seventeen a gallon. I miss home. <laughs> I definitely miss home. Trust me on that one. <laughs> so um, we're going to talk a little bit today about what's coming up with our meetup group, but I wanted to just get a little bit of background on breast impressions and what is it and, and how did you get started? Well, Cheryl, uh, breast impressions started in 2007. I had faced a, uh, what could have been breast cancer. I'm from a family of what I call the food chain for breast cancer. Um, mother, several of her aunts, grandmothers, that type of thing. So I've always been aware of my risk, but um, I started having mammograms at age 30 due to that and have been very diligent in my breast self-exams. Um, in 2006, I had a real problem. And uh, there was a mass there, and the doctor said it could be breast cancer. We're not sure. We're going to go in. I knew I'd look different after that surgery. That tumor was removed, and so I wanted to make a three-dimensional me because I'm just that kind of girl. <laughs> and uh, so I had my husband plaster cast my chest, and, uh, you know, I'm the girl that was called Juggy in high school. So these were a part of my identity. So I wanted to have a memory of them. I was going to paint it red and put a bow on it and put it in my bedroom. And a friend of mine came by to see me after my surgery, which turned out not to be breast cancer, but a large papilloma tumor in my breast that was causing bleeding. And so um, my friend took my cast. She said, let me see what I can do with it. And she was a stained glass artist. She covered it in mosaic stained glass. And when she brought it back, I thought, this is a work of art. And I told my husband, I'd love to start something like this with, you know, using this as an awareness tool and possibly sell them and raise money for uh, people that needed it locally for mammograms, etc. And he looked at me and said, honey, we live in the Bible Belt. I don't know that that would go over very well. But my friend Carrie Netherton saw it from Fox 23 at the time she was there. She came over to the house to see me, saw that. She said, you're coming on the morning show with your boobs. And I did. <laughs> and within an hour, I had 23 volunteers to either be artists on the cast, be cast, or um, um, knew somebody that they wanted to do one in honor of. Um, so that kind of started it. And then... Because I had to buy a belly casting kit for my my boobs, I that was very expensive, and I had a lot of more material than I needed, even though I was large-chested. And uh, so one thing I did when I set up Breast Impressions in January of 2007 was to make it so that we would um, donate breast casting kits to any woman who contacts me prior to her breast cancer surgery and if she wants to make a memory, we send her a kit and how to do it. And uh, we've sent out over 250 kits, even as far as Australia and Canada and the U.K. So people can cast their own breasts yes. and either create their own works of art or just have that as uh, a memory and a symbol of themselves that they either thought they were losing or physically are losing. Right. Exactly. And and it's a healing process. It's very therapeutic for many women. I had an 80-year-old grandmother who uh, had raised her granddaughter, and she wasn't going to fight it. She was ready to, you know, it was, it was pretty, pretty big, and she didn't want to do the chemo and that type of thing. So before her surgery, I sent her a cast. She made the cast, and then she had friends help her take all of her pictures of her and her granddaughter that she'd raised. She made copies of them in black and white. And she decoupaged the entire cast with memories of her and her granddaughter growing up. 
and she has passed away now, and her granddaughter told me probably about a year ago how she treasures that breast cast that her grandmother made for her. That is so wonderful. Now, um, I know you do more than the cast, but I think the, <laughs> the casts are, are a phenomenal story, and I, I, I tell you, I know of other uh, breast cancer awareness organizations and programs, and I think you are very unique in what you're doing, and I think you know, for people to be aware of what you're doing is amazing. And I will include a few pictures of breast cast in okay. this interview so people can see what it is that you do. Now, you've been kind of busy here lately with projects, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about a couple of the things that you've been doing here in the recent weeks and months. Well, just yesterday, Breast Impressions um, – funded the purchase of three street signs from the city of Tulsa to honor our police officer, Jennifer Manzel, who lost her nine-year battle with breast cancer. A lot of people know Jennifer Manzel. She was an, just an incredible woman in Tulsa community. Um, she was, I mean, she's won numerous awards and that type of thing, and she is just one tough broad, but you know, cancer just finally, she fought it to the very end. And we wanted to do something very special to honor her memory. Number one, because she fought the battle so much for cancer. And um, no, and in that, she became a compassionate soul for anyone who faced any type of cancer. She was a counselor. She was a comforter, as well as being a very, very important part of the downtown safety liaison um, program that really helps the homeless and those that down are on their luck in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. She loved those people. And so it's pretty fitting that the street named for her is in that same location. Tell everybody where the street is and where they can see the sign. Well, if they drive north or south on Denver, They'll see it at the corner of Archer and Denver, and then it goes west past North Elwood to North Guthrie. She has three blocks that are named after her, and um, it was a very moving, very moving tribute to her yesterday, and the homeless people were in full force there to give their support, and it was just a very moving experience for everyone that was oh, there. Oh, that's phenomenal. So that just finished yesterday. Now, my next big event is uh, going to be, of course, the social media pink out. But right after that, we every year I am the chairperson for Breast Cancer Awareness Day at the state capitol. Oh. And the purpose of that is to educate our legislature about what is happening in the breast cancer realm and other female cancer realms in Oklahoma. And many, many survivors come from all over the state. They meet with their um, representative or their senator. Uh, they get to meet all the network organizations that help women with all different issues during their battle against whatever type of female cancer they have. So it's, it's a big event. We love it. I, I co-chair that with Senator Judy Easton McIntyre every year. This will be our third year. That's fantastic. Now, that brings me to, you mentioned uh, women suffering from or surviving other types of cancer and not just yes. breast cancer. And that kind of brings us to the Turn Tulsa Pink campaign uh, that Social Media Tulsa as a group is going to help with and um, hopefully do more than what we're doing now. <laughs> but tell me about what Tulsa, Turn Tulsa Pink is and what you hope to accomplish uh, in October. Well, it began last fall. Um, there's a group of gentlemen out of Arizona called the Pink Hills Tour. Those are firefighters that have got wrapped pink trucks, and they drive coast to coast, up and down, uh, across the nation for about five months out of the year. And there's different chapters in every state that join in, and then some guys go home. But they came to Oklahoma last October. They were here in Tulsa, stopped at Woodland Hills Mall. Uh, there were three trucks. And that inspired our own Tulsa Fire Department to wrap one of our trucks pink. 
and the, that was such a wonderful uh, congregation of people out there. But Pink Heels, with the Pink Heels Tour, Pink does not stand for just breast cancer. Pink stands for women. And they support and make aware and hold up women who have been affected by any type of cancer. So that's really the basis you need to remember when you're talking about turning Tulsa pink. This is about girls and women. Pink is for girls and women. So that's the whole point of that. After the fire truck in Tulsa was wrapped pink, and right after we had lost Jennifer Manzel to breast cancer, the Tulsa Police Department said, we're ready. We need to have a pink car, number one, to honor her life, and number two, to show all the women in our community that we support them. So we had an unveiling of that and um, uh, just a little over a month ago. And um, as of April 26th, right before our social meetup, Turn Tulsa Pink meeting, um, we will be unveiling on April 26th our new pink IMSA. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that shortly after that, we'll have a sheriff's car. And shortly after that, we'll have an Oklahoma Highway Patrol car pink. So, oh, my goodness. That I is. Have to tell you, Cheryl, that's a very moving thing to me because we are the only city that has jumped on this Pink Heels bandwagon like that to do so many vehicles from our heroes that believe that women are heroes when they fight any type of cancer. That is an amazing story and I can't wait to see all of those vehicles, the fire truck, the police truck, the sheriff's truck and the IMSA truck all lined up uh, together and I'm sure you're working on making that happen. <laughs> I'm sure you're making we're going to have to have a parade. That's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So um, we're going to have a meetup on April 30th, and it's our official Turn Tulsa Pink meetup, but it's not the start of the activities in October. What is it that we're going to be doing at the meetup, and how, how can we help you? Well, first and foremost, we have been holding a, for the past three weeks, we've been holding a logo contest. Uh, we want Tulsa's Talented, of which many belong to the Social Media Tulsa Meetup Group, um, we want Tulsa's Talented to submit a possible logo for this Tulsa countywide effort, um, and it involves all cancers, not just breast cancer, and it's not just the city of Tulsa, it's Tulsa County, right. because Limpool's on board, Sand Springs, Owasa, all of the little communities within Tulsa County are going to participate in this special October event, too. So we, we will be awarding our, our logo winner on that particular um, meetup, but um, they have till the 15th, this Friday, to get us their um, uh, entry form in with their uh, logo that they've come up with. Perfect. And I'll add the address to the website so people can go and enter and submit their logo designs so we have time to judge and include them in to get selected on the 30th. So and they hundred dollars in cash. Oh my goodness. And for a struggling artist or a struggling anything. A hundred dollars. hundred dollars. A hundred dollars these days is a lot of money, I'm telling you. Well, you can... And the other thing I wanted to do at that meetup, um, because so many um, people within the social media, you know, I was just a troll when you kind of talked me into getting into this. And look at this. I'm so excited. I've learned how to do <laughs> something on a webcam now. <laughs> um, but because you all are so talented and so intelligent in that area, I really would love to get those people with technical expertise to figure out how we can have widgets to put up about doing specific things, specific things that turn them on and they want to get involved with, uh, helping us uh, make our website better, uh, doing interviews like this. Um, I have a really big idea about I, I call this my get on the pink wagon idea. So I'm going to send you a picture of my little pink wagon. <laughs> and um, there's a very peculiar character. Her name is Tallulah Tulsa. And she will be dragging that wagon through town in her pink and black tutu with striped leotards 
and a pink boa to try to get other businesses and organizations to get involved. And so Tutu Tulsa will be, Tallulah Tulsa will be at the beat up too. Oh, I, 